Hey, I'm Nate from NateScreenPrints.com and this video I'm going to be talking about mixing the screen printing inks. If you've been looking at getting any screen printing inks from Speedball, you can see that they have every single color imaginable that you can think of. But um, what I like to do, because I'd rather not just buy a color that I just need a little bit of and end up with a lot of excess, is what I do is I get a I get the starter kit. I get the, the fabric starter kit and the opaque starter kit. And each of these come with everything you need in order to mix any color you might need for your projects. Um, the difference between fabric and opaque inks is fabric is going to be for light color t-shirts, like that white t-shirt, anything uh, bright, and you'll need an opaque color because that covers better on like a black t-shirt or a dark blue. If you try to print with fabric ink on a dark shirt, it's not going to come up very well. Alright, so to go ahead and get started, I'm going to show you uh, I mix my inks. I'm starting with fabric right now. And I'm opening them up. I've got uh, red and yellow here, which of course make orange. And I usually mix on a palette, which gives me some room. If I just need a little bit, some of it, sometimes I'll go ahead and mix it straight on the squeegee. You'll see me do that in a lot of my projects and other videos. But um, sometimes I'll go ahead and I'll mix them on this palette first, and I'll take the lead off that put it on the squeegee or on the screen. And you can see here it makes a really nice orange color. And you can see I can go ahead and I can take everything I need off of that, I put it right on the squeegee and then I'm ready to screen print. Alright, so next I'm going to show you how I get to brown. And brown is just going to be red, yellow, and blue. So here I'm opening up the blue. Put a little bit on the palette. And then mix all three of those together. And I get a little nice brown color. And again, you can get any shade you want by adding any more. If you want a little bit darker, more blue, lighter, more yellow. And this is going to be purple. So to get purple, I take uh, the red and mix it with blue. So when I mix those together, it comes out a very nice purple. And to get different shades, you can just add the black or the white. So if that blue is too dark for you and you want more of a baby blue, we'll just add a little bit of white and there you go. So a nice light blue color, sky blue, baby blue. Um, a lot better. What I like most is to get gold. I use gold a lot in my projects and that's going to be blue, red, yellow, and silver. With a little bit of, a lot of extra yellow. I like the extra yellow. And once you've got that mixed, you get a nice gold color. And then pink is going to be uh, white with that red. If you've got any questions, leave me a, a message down below or join me on Facebook. Thanks for watching.